In the world of video games, people seem to confuse themselves when it comes to distinguishing graphics from art direction. They both play crucial roles in shaping a player's experience, but overall, they have very different roles to play in the development of a video game, and more importantly, in the longevity of a video game. So first, I want to explain exactly what the two things are, and make an argument that art direction is vastly more important than graphics. Graphics in video games refer to the visual elements that make up the game's imagery, including characters, the environment, the objects, and the special effects. But it encompasses things like resolution, the texture quality, the polygon count, the lighting, the rendering techniques, basically all of the technical jargon and, and programming stuff and technical stuff that has to do with the actual development of the video game itself has to do with the graphics, how technologically advanced certain things are when you render them. In comparison, art direction in a video game involves establishing the overall visual style, the mood and the atmosphere. They're basically the softer skills that come with creating a visual brand for your video game. It encompasses decisions about the game's direction and kind of the tone that it wants to set from a narrative perspective, from a gameplay perspective and just from a general artistic perspective. So you can think of it as graphics being the technical hard skills that you need to create a visual piece in a video game and the art direction, the kind of soft and more overarching stylistic direction that you want to take it in. Most people in the video game community, if you are involved in the community outside of Assassin's Creed, tend to argue that graphics don't really matter and that what's important in a video game is gameplay above everything else. Although I agree, I actually think that for Assassin's Creed specifically, graphics are incredibly important and I can make a whole video on that if you guys are interested, but I actually think that even though most video games don't need good graphics, an Assassin's Creed game with good graphics, as long as the gameplay is good, does actually elevate its immersion factor just because of how visual some of the appeal of Assassin's Creed is. But even more important than graphics for me is art direction. The choices that a studio makes in terms of the style, the mood, and the atmosphere that you want to create for a specific game are extremely important when it comes to the immersion factor that I so greatly value, and also the longevity of a game. And I'm going to pick two games from the Assassin's Creed franchise because I want to discuss this in the context of Assassin's Creed two games in the franchise that I think have incredible art direction that supersede the importance that it has on graphics and cancel out the outdated graphics that it may have. I want to choose one game that I don't think has that good of an art direction, even though it has good graphics, and then I want to show you what happens when you kind of get the best of both worlds and have great graphics and great art direction. So for games in the Assassin's Creed franchise that I think have great art direction, even though their graphics are outdated, there are specifically two that I want to talk about. And if you have any of your own, you can comment below, but I think you'll, you'll likely agree with one of them and the other ones is a little bit more controversial. The one I think that most of you will agree with is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That game came out in 2013 for context, more than 10 years ago, and it still holds up in terms of its visual appeal and how jaw-droppingly beautiful it is. The color palette, the textures, the way the world has been set up is so, so well thought out that even though 10 years later the graphics are outdated, and even though most people say, oh no, the graphics still stand up, again, they're confusing graphics and art direction. If you look at the textures, if you look at the polygon count, if you look at the draw distances and everything in Assassin's Creed 4, the graphics are pretty outdated by now, which is one of the reasons, one of the less cynical reasons as to why AC4 is getting a remake, because you kind of want to update all those graphics and bring it to the next gen to bring a whole new wave of players. However, the art direction is something that is really, really not outdated. To this day, it's the best pirate game ever made, and it's not just because of its amazing gameplay, because of the colors and the choices it makes stylistically to create this atmosphere of a pirate voyaging throughout the Caribbean Sea. It's absolutely insane how well and meticulously crafted this game is when it comes to its art direction. And the studio that made this game and the studio that spearheaded the art direction is the same studio that then did Assassin's Creed Origins. And if you play those two games, even though they're vastly different in terms of style and gameplay, when it comes to their art direction, you can kind of see how they were both made by the same studio. The, the priority that it places on the very specific and conscious color palette choices in its saturation, in its density, in its variation of environments, and how beautiful it can make its nature to add to the narrative of the world, to create the world as a character in itself. That all has to do with art direction, and that studio is absolutely remarkable at doing it. So I think most of you would agree that art direction is one of the best things about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and that game is the best example I can think of, of art direction being much more important than graphics. Now, my more controversial choice is Assassin's Creed 1. Now, I'm just going to outright admit it, I am extremely biased towards Assassin's Creed 1. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and I really don't think it has aged that much in terms of graphics, art direction, and gameplay, but I, I can admit and give leeway that maybe the graphics are a bit outdated. I mean, the game came out in 2007 and you can definitely tell that it came
came out quite a while ago. However, the reason why I want to say that the art direction is still strong is not only because visually it kind of holds up to a lot of the games that are coming out now. It definitely looks old, but it doesn't look vintage or retro. You wouldn't be put off from playing this game if you were from a newer generation just because of the graphics. What the developers did was pick specific color filters for each of the three cities in Assassin's Creed 1 to boost its narrative impact and reflect the state of that city when the assassin was in it. And this is one of the most important things you can do in a game, especially if you have the long-term knowledge of knowing that that game is not going to be the prettiest game ever made forever. Technology is moving at such a fast pace and photorealistic graphics are getting closer and closer to a common reality that you have to know as a game developer that your games are not made to last forever, especially when it comes to its visual fidelity and how long it's going to stand the test of time. So what the developers did is choose style over technical ability. You choose to add these filters to the city even if they're not the most photorealistic thing you can add to a city because it adds to the narrative and maintains its visual style and art direction throughout the years. When I play Assassin's Creed 1 and I visit the three cities, Jerusalem, Acre, and Damascus, you can see how their color filters are reflecting the state of that city. Acre is tinted with a like a light blue that reflects this pale sickness and, and poverty that this city is submerged in. And you see it when you walk the streets how the guards have this English accent to reflect the British occupation. Every single artistic choice about that development, you can see that there are more dilapidated buildings, more broken buildings. And all of this adds to the immersion just because it's not photorealistic doesn't mean that you cannot be more immersed by this city. And the same with Jerusalem and Damascus when they're coded in either an orange or green kind of tint. They reflect the cities and whether it's a merchant city or an affluent city, you're always being visually told where you are. And this goes past the tints and the color filters into the NPC placement, the building placement, the architecture of the buildings, whether they're broken down or not, whether they're dense or not, the gardens that you see around and kind of like what kind of NPCs you're surrounding yourself with. All of this has to do with the idea that art direction is more important than graphics and you want to kind of prioritize the art direction over your graphics if you want to add to an immersive experience that won't only immerse you now but it will also do it in 10 20 years like Assassin's Creed 1 is basically on the way to do and to contrast it I think Assassin's Creed Valhalla is an example of very good graphics and very poor art direction I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with this because I know a lot of you are huge Valhalla fans and I can respect that I think that Valhalla was a decent game and I had a lot of fun with it and I think what ruined the game overall was the post launch plan I have to say that the art direction is not that good graphically that game is insane and they've recreated England pretty much perfectly especially during that time the problem is that everything is so monotonous so uniform so uninspiring that when you're riding through it you're not really immersed you're kind of bored feeling like you're playing this endless game trying to get from one point to another I never really felt all that much excitement when I was exploring this world I never felt like there was this wondrous fictional journey that I was going on through the days that I started playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and AC Odyssey probably is another example but Valhalla is the most recent one Valhalla has the best graphics out of any Assassin's Creed game apart from maybe Odyssey and overall the artistic direction really let me down and makes it a very forgettable environment that you're playing in and if you want to see the contrast of what happens when you have a good graphics and good art direction of course you have to look at Assassin's Creed Unity this game is still being talked about today because of how well it keeps up to modern day standards and that's because it hit the perfect spot between technical ability and, and technological advancement in terms of graphics and stylistic direction when it comes to the art direction of the game if you walk down any street in Assassin's Creed Unity in Paris or France, Seattle or Versailles, you are going to see what I mean. Not only are all the textures incredibly detailed, not only are all the models and the NPCs and the buildings so handcrafted that you cannot even notice if there are any repeats in interiors or house decorations. When you walk the streets, you can see how the cobblestone is perfectly fine-tuned. Everything except maybe the water is just top-tier, world-class development of both graphics and art direction because it uses its lighting system, the NPCs, the set dressing, the actual historical location that we're actually in, which is the French Revolution to kind of create the most amazing open world I think I have ever seen. And that's the overall point that I want to make, that if you want to create a beautiful, perfect open world, you cannot just rely on graphics, honestly cannot only rely on art direction. You have to have this technical and artistic marvel, this relationship and this symbiotic understanding between the artistic department and the programming department or the 3D modeling department to craft an open world that is as advanced as it is artistic in its direction. I think Assassin's Creed Unity to this day is still the best example within the Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed franchise of a game that understands the importance of both. But if I had to choose, because I look at what I do when I go back and play different Assassin's Creed games, I usually tend to choose games with good art direction over good graphics, which is why I think that it's more important. I'd much rather play Assassin's Creed 1 for 10 hours than Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'd rather immerse myself in the world of Assassin's Creed Black Flag instead of Odyssey, even though they mechanically have very similar gameplay styles. In Odyssey and Black Flag, you both have sailing mechanics, stealth mechanics, combat mechanics. You can still explore a huge world with different architecture and all these different islands. And yet, I still want to explore an 11-year-old game 
over a five-year-old game. Why? Because even though AC Odyssey has way, way better graphics, and again, do not confuse graphics with art direction, Odyssey by far objectively has better graphics. AC Black Flag understands what kind of world and atmosphere and mood it was trying to create and what kind of emotions it was trying to arouse in its player base. And 10 times out of 10, I would choose to play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. If you like this video, I'd love to see if you agree over the distinction between art direction and graphics and which one is more important to you. If you want to watch a video where I discuss more ways to immerse yourself in Assassin's Creed, you can watch this video now where I discuss the lore accurate ways that you can play these games. Thank you for watching.